Woolly Mammoth Meatballs. Would you try one? This mammoth snack has been produced by an Australian company that aims to transition a few billion meat eaters away from eating conventional animal products to eating cultivated meat instead. In this video, we'll take a dive into the fascinating topic. A meatball has been made from the recreated flesh of the long extinct woolly mammoth as part of a project to demonstrate the potential of growing flesh from cells. This snack was produced by an Australian company called Val, which aims to use cells from unconventional species to create new kinds of meat. Val's project doesn't involve the slaughter of animals and highlights the link between large scale livestock production and the destruction of wildlife and the climate crisis. The company has already explored the potential of more than 50 species, including alpaca, buffalo, crocodile, kangaroo, peacock, and different types of exotic fish. The company announced the reason they chose the woolly mammoth is because it's a symbol of diversity loss and of climate change. Woolly mammoths are thought to have become extinct due to the hunting of humans and the warming of the world after the last ice age. The company WOW worked with Professor Ernst at the Australian Institute of Bioengineering to recreate the mammoth muscle protein. The team took the DNA sequence from the mammoth myoglobin, a key muscle protein which gives meat its flavour, and filled the gaps using DNA from an elephant. This sequence was placed in a myoblast stem cell from a sheep, which replicated to grow the 20 billion cells which were used by the company to grow the mammoth meat. The professor stated it was ridiculously fast and easy. They were able to complete it in a couple of weeks. The professor also added the initial idea was to produce dodo meat, but the required DNA sequence didn't exist. Despite all the work that's gone into it, no one yet has had the honour of being the first person to eat mammoth meatballs. Scientists haven't seen this protein for thousands of years. So we have no idea how our immune system will react when we eat it. But when we do eat it again, there are certain ways that we could make it more palatable to regular bodies. Large scale production of meat causes environmental damage, with many studies saying the climate crisis will only end if there's a huge reduction in meat eating in wealthy nations. The CEO of Val says his company plans to transition a few billion meat eaters away from eating conventional animal protein to eating things that can be produced in electrified systems. The CEO says the best way to do it is to invent meat. They look for cells that are easy to grow, really tasty and nutritious, and then mix and match these cells to create really tasty meat. Val's first cultivated meat product to be sold to diners will be Japanese quail, which is expected to be in restaurants in Singapore at the end of this year. Plus bait alternative to meats are common, but cultured meats like that produced by Val replicate the taste of conventional meat. A chicken product made by Good Meat is currently the only cultivated meat available to diners and you can only be bought in Singapore. However, two companies have now passed the approval process within the United States. In 2018, a company used DNA from an extinct animal to create gummy bears made from gelatin from an extinct elephant-like animal called a mastodon. 